Hello everyone, my name is Brian and this is Motherland. Welcome to today's video where we dive into the world of bulk purchasing. But hold on a moment, before we begin, kindly direct your cursor downwards, hit that irresistible subscribe button, ensure the bell rings, give us a thumbs up and drop your thoughts in the comment section about each and every item we discuss. Our mission is to enlighten you without causing any heart palpitations, but we must confront the reality of our prepper's pantry and strive for constant improvement. Now, let's explore the various venues where bulk pricing is a possibility. Could be the mighty Costco or the stalwart Sam's Club. Perhaps it's Azure Standard or another splendid online grocer. You might even strike a deal with your neighborhood grocery store or local farm if they've got some persuasive negotiation skills up your sleeve. These opportunities do exist, so let's venture into our first stop. Number five, honey. In my humble opinion, the jackpot lies at the farm. Yes, number five on our list is honey. Purchasing honey in its tiniest jar comes with a hefty price tag. Even when we were busy bees selling our honey, the smaller the portion, the more you'd have to shell out. However, if you encountered a brave soul willing to purchase a colossal five gallon bucket of golden goodness, you could cut them a deal on the per ounce price. That's the beauty of buying in bulk. It often saves you by the ounce. So exercise caution when determining your per ounce rate. Don't fall prey to any scams or bamboozlement. But trust me, honey is a prime example of a bulk buy bonanza. In our neck of the woods, we have a buzzing honeybee aviary that puts us to shame in terms of scale. They churn out honey in such an abundance that selling it at a retail level becomes nearly impossible. As a result, they offer a wholesale option. Picture this, you stroll in and walk out with five gallons or 10 gallons or even one of those mammoth vats filled to the brim with honey, all at a reduced price thanks to buying in bulk. Remember, honey never spoils. It's an essential ingredient in countless medicinal and herbal concoctions and lasts indefinitely. Store it meticulously in food grade buckets within your pantry and you'll be enjoying its sweetness for ages. We've been beekeepers for years and are still relishing honey from yesteryears. Meticulously rotating the newer batches to the front never spoils, plus it's a versatile resource for all your sugar needs. Good for your metabolism and can even provide a buzz akin to caffeine. So. Get in touch with your local farmers or beekeepers and you'll likely stumble upon a sweet deal for a bulk buy of honey. Number four, dairy. Let's move on to dairy products. Now, this is a rather unique situation. Take cows, for example. They demand milking every single day. There's no all skip today option. On most farms, the milking process is a constant affair. If you visit a local dairy, you may not be able to collect the milk on the spot due to their existing clientele or cooperative arrangements. However, if you give them a heads up and say, hey, next Friday, could you set aside X amount of gallons for me and request an additional surplus quantity, they'll gladly reserve it or gather enough for you at that time. Usually, you'll enjoy a better price because they recognize you as a reliable customer, especially if they provide high quality milk. So if I were to purchase milk, though I don't personally, buying it in bulk would definitely yield savings. Imagine this, you wanna venture into the art of yogurt making, cheese production, or even crafting your own butter. These endeavors not only enhance your skills, but also allow you to make the most of bulk purchases. Learning how to freeze, freeze dry, dehydrate, or can dairy products opens up a world of possibilities. Misty on the Max Life channel even mastered the art of making condensed milk using simple milk and cane sugar. It's a fantastic alternative to commercially engineered milk derivatives. So steer clear of those and explore the joys of buying dairy in bulk. You'll be able to sharpen your butter making, cheese crafting, yogurt whipping, condensed milk brewing, and even milk canning skills. If you're up for a challenge, give freeze drying a shot. We frequently powder our milk and freezing raw dairy milk is a viable option. 
We stash ours in the freezer to have it ready when our cows give birth again, so we don't have to dip into our powdered supply. It's a highly practical approach. From canning milk to countless other possibilities, buying in bulk not only saves you money, but also allows you to explore diverse milk-related endeavors. You'll be honing your skills, becoming a better prepper, preserving your resources, and making the most of favorable pricing. Number three, salt. Let's move on to number three, salt. Now, this is an item that I believe everyone should consider purchasing. It's all about honing your skills in the art of curing. We use salt not only for enhancing the flavor of our meals, but also for preserving and curing during the pork season when we prepare our delicious bacons. Salt is an essential ingredient in these processes and we rely on it heavily. Personally, we order our salt from Azure Standard, opting for their 50 pound containers of natural sea salt. Believe it or not, now I can get it at a lower price compared to other sources. While buying small containers from Walmart or other grocery stores may not break the bank, purchasing in bulk allows the price per ounce to drop significantly, resulting in substantial savings. Having an ample supply of salt is crucial, as I've emphasized in numerous prepping videos, and when you can purchase it in bulk, you're maximizing your savings. A win-win situation. So far, we've covered honey, a timeless and versatile sweetener with endless health benefits. Then we delved into milk, sourcing it locally from farmers, which not only supports self-sufficiency, but also fosters the development of valuable skills. And now, with salt, it's time to explore the realm of curing. By purchasing salt in bulk, you're not only saving money, but also embarking on a journey of learning this valuable skill. My goal is to help you save on food expenses while simultaneously cultivating new abilities, enabling you to thrive in your prepping and homesteading lifestyle. Remember the three S's, sustainability, stewardship, and satisfaction. When we purchase these essential items in bulk, we not only save money, but also exhibit responsible stewardship. Moreover, we're building a sustainable lifestyle that brings immense satisfaction. Knowing that we have well-stocked pantries filled with high-quality food, we've preserved ourselves. Number two, oil. Moving on to number two, oil. Whether it's coconut oil or any other type of oil, especially if it's of good quality, the larger the container you purchase, the more cost-effective it becomes. You can even find yourself with vats of oil, although I must admit, you probably don't need 30, 50, or 100 gallon vats unless you're running a restaurant or have an insatiable oil obsession. However, if you do require such large quantities, you can obtain them at a significantly lower cost per ounce. Oil plays a significant role in our prepper's pantry. We often underestimate its importance. While we render our own lard and butter from dairy, we still purchase coconut oil, store it, and acquire other beneficial oils such as avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil. Although we may not venture into the realm of 100 gallon vats, we do stock up on these oils and the larger containers prove to be more economical. A balanced diet comprising proteins, carbohydrates, and fats is essential, and oil plays a crucial part in fulfilling that fat component. Therefore, I encourage you to carefully examine the prices and consider purchasing oil in larger quantities. You'll be pleasantly surprised by the savings. Here's an intriguing idea. If you wish to explore alternatives and avoid commercially available oils, consider lard. You can simply approach your local butcher and request an order of lard or even request a pig, specifically asking for all the lard from the processing. By rendering this lard yourself, you can create your own canned lard, resulting in significant cost savings. Additionally, it offers a more holistic approach as you have complete control over the process and can ensure the use of unrefined oil. Rendering lard is a simple process that involves using a crock pot, and we have a video dedicated to this topic for further guidance. Incorporating the lard into your diet shouldn't be the primary focus, but it does serve as a valuable source of fat, providing essential energy and contributing to prepping and food sustainability efforts. 
Adding bulk oils to your stockpile is a wise investment that ultimately saves you money while diversifying your fat sources. Number one, beef. And finally rounding out the list at number one is beef. When you purchase a side or even an entire animal, be it beef, pork, or sheep, you'll undoubtedly save money. However, there's a catch. You'll need to acquire the skills to process the meat yourself, which is undoubtedly the best route to take. It's a game changer, as we've discussed. If your goal is to be a prepper and embrace sustainability, you must find ways to achieve that. Buying meat in bulk allows you to say, okay, I won't settle for pre-packaged ground beef or ground round from the grocery store at the same price. Instead, I'll pay a similar amount, but get steaks, roasts, and various other cuts that cost much less. So, buying in bulk and working closely with your local farmer is key. In each of these avenues, I've emphasized the option to buy locally, but of course, if you're unable to purchase from a local farmer, then acquiring your meat from the store is the next best option. But I've provided avenues for building skills in buying in bulk, encouraging you to grow what you can and obtain what you need, all for long-term benefits. When it comes to beef, for instance, I can raise my own cows and enjoy a steak for as little as two or three dollars, whereas the same steak would cost me 20, 30, or even 40 dollars at the store. Even my ground beef comes out cheaper at just a couple of dollars, all while knowing exactly where it came from. If you're unable to raise your own meat, support a local farmer who can. It's a community building approach. You can work out an arrangement where you purchase a steer from them each year, saving money as a returning customer, similar to the dairy and honey examples. This allows you to shop local, contribute to the growth of your community and do things the right way. There is a perception that the prepper industry often promotes specialized high priced products marketed specifically for emergency preparedness. I'd argue that many of these items can be substituted for more cost-effective alternatives found in regular stores, lending to unnecessary expenditure. The broken food system cannot be fixed solely from the top down. It needs healing within local communities, with people re-establishing their trust in farmers and gardeners, embracing sustainability, and returning to self-sufficiency. When we learn and implement these principles, we'll address the flaws in the food system. Inflated prices will diminish and we'll be able to nourish our families while adequately stocking our prepper's pantry. And that's it for this video. I genuinely hope the info I shared has been beneficial to you. I want to reiterate that my intention is never to instill fear or suggest that you'll find yourself in a situation without any food. I'm simply urging you to observe the volatility of our world and recognize that having a reliable food supply is one less thing to worry about. It grants you food sustainability, freedom, and independence. Oh, and please share this video and give it a big thumbs up too. Your support helps us reach more viewers, spread our message, and potentially grow our channel. So, please click on the subscribe button and ring the bell below for future content. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Wishing you a fantastic rest of the day, and God bless.